What is going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode of reaction to Inspector. This is going to be episode 6, Logical Fiction. Now, before I actually jump into this episode, I want to address something that I made uh yesterday on my community page if you guys haven't seen it. Um I dropped the reactions for Darwin's game and Science Found Love. And the main reason why is actually there's actually a multitude of reasons um one of them being the amount of interest in the show had been steadily declining and it wasn't getting a lot of traction um and normally i do stuff to where people would want to watch it but i could tell that a lot of people were um basically tuning out for it i know a lot of i've been around the same amount of views for inspector which is fantastic because i do genuinely enjoy this uh, uh, series but in, in terms of in general, in terms of reactions, I have been slowly losing interest in reactions. And main reason why is due to life. With work being a little bit more manageable in terms of, like, scheduling, in terms of times, that's great. But I've been actually tasked with a lot, a lot more work. Um, so, even though, like, I'm having a semi-normal uh, uh, sleep schedule... Unfortunately, it's making me also basically go back to the same amount of, um, uh, lethargic, um, I'm still lethargic, um, extremely tired from just in general with a lot of, uh, stuff that's been happening at work. Um, so even though I do have time, most of it's just recuperating from the day. Um, and cause all my work's physical. I don't normally get to sit down. Uh, much at all, even for a break, I get about a five minute break in about an eight nine hour period, um, and it's not and it's because I just have so much to do, and if I don't do it, I get in trouble. So it's one of those like damned if I do, damned if I don't. Um, in regards to reactions going forward, I'm I'm gonna make a separate video doing that entirely, um, but eventually I kind of want to just slowly step away from reactions. It'll still be a thing, but it's nothing gonna be where it want where it used to be. Um, and I think it's just because I'm being getting so much more expectations put on me in terms of work. Work is, I'm, I'm going to be honest, work is almost the entirety of it. Um, I do have some like personal matters, but it doesn't even come close. So I don't really like try to, um, um, classify it as with it. Um, but yeah, I do apologize. Um, I know a lot of people, I know a few people were, um, a little bit upset, but as someone who was forcing himself to make reaction videos, I, I eventually had to like start like faking enthusiasm. I think with Rike Koi or Science Fell in Love, I did genuinely have moments where I did enjoy it. Um, but Darwin's Game, I'm enjoying it, just watching it as is, and I'm not as, I guess, enthusiastic as I am watching it than when I'm doing reactions. If you know what I mean. Um, and just with Fridays in general, it's just usually that's my recuperation day and I'm exhausted. <laughs> I mean, I'm exhausted every day, but Friday in general is when like, Hey, it's your first day off. It's your only day off the entire week. So now we're going to hit you with all the, um, exhaustion. Um, but, but that's enough rambling. Um, sorry for going on so long, but I just want to explain some things to you guys. Uh, I am going to continue inspector. It is going to be a little bit harder because Saturdays, um, I'm I'm the manager at my own department on Saturdays, so I'm I'm in charge, um, and that's a lot of responsibility, especially on weekends when it's really busy at my store. So um, Saturdays it might be a little bit later um, because I usually have to take a nap because I'm <laughs> exhausted. So it might be a little bit later. I, it depends on the day. If it's an easier day, I'll just go home and immediately knock out a recording. But as like today, I went home, took a nap, hung out with my roommate for a little bit and did some stuff around the house and then all that jazz. But anyways, I'm ready to jump into this episode. Enough talking. I'm ready to jump into this episode. Um, we did get to finish off where basically, um, Steel Lady Nanase, um, was an actual figment of the people's perception which is a really cool concept i know um some people were pointing out last episode that this has been done before um and it's true it just it hasn't been done much and i'd like that because finding original concepts is extremely hard in any medium regardless if it's anime tv movies 
video games, all that chopes. But yeah, I'm ready to jump into this, guys. So without further ado, let's jump in to episode six of Inspector Sun in three, two, one, let's jam. Oh, is he going to start picking up the pieces? Yeah, I was waiting for this guy to pop up. So that's why you couldn't kill her. So how are they going to get rid of it? If it's the public perception, you have to change the public's heart. <laughs> Be Persona 5 again. I actually really want to make a video on like why you should watch this show for to make a video on the people who haven't watched this yet. Cuz I can definitely see why it would it would turn people away. First and a second episode to extreme this to the sides of the spectrum. Episode 1 and episode 2, exact opposite of each other. And the rest of the story seems to be right in that sweet spot in the middle. This is easily my favorite part of the series uh, um opening. Although, like I said, I will say this every time. It doesn't hold a candle to the ending. And also someone pointed out, um, Kur um, the guy disappears in the opening while Kotoko disappears in the ending. Yeah, I have no idea how they're... They need to change the public's perception. I also notice that his, his collar is all torn up from when he <laughs> lost his head. Yes, but how? No. Spread? Hmm. I was thinking of spread and information. Hmm. Okay. Like, this is actual fa f um, facts, so you can't really... Okay. I wonder if she'll turn back into a girl, though. Like a normal girl. Like a ghost version of the uh, the original. True, but you need a good amount. You're gonna lessen... Yeah, that's too much. That's too much. I can't keep up with all that. In reality, it's a prank. No. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Look at that dejected pose from her. <laughs> but it's a good hoax. You don't know, I realize that they like to focus a lot on her fake eye. It wouldn't be enough. She was snooping around, yeah. We, I mean, we saw that in the last couple episodes, I think. What are they from, Kuro? <laughs> I know a lot of people are like saying that Kotoko is best girl. Personality wise, absolutely. Looks wise, Saki still has it on her. On her, just personally. I mean, of course, that's all subject to change once I get more and more used to them, I guess. I'm, I still kind of feel like it's, like it's almost like a, almost like a play on the, on, played, almost like it was planned. Mm-hmm. Smoking's bad. <laughs> Marl, bro. <laughs> That's right. You also have to be, I think you have to be, what, 20 to purchase cigarettes in Japan? It's kind of like they want to s slip it under the rug. Oh, 
Mm, yeah, that's true. And then drop it. She just let it happen. Oh. I'm still wondering about the sister. It's so funny, I call her Kotoko, but Iwanaga is her name. It's just, meh. Oh, yeah. Pfft, I totally forgot. Yeah, the spirits. Duh. It's kind of sad that I didn't. it took me a second, and I was like... <laughs> Come forth, spirits. What for a split second it looked like it was turned into a magical girl thing. Oh, who's going to show up? Oh, dude. Not really. <laughs> Fucking Saki. He has like a... What is that? Like a, It looks like almost like a crow button. No, a piece of a... Uh, yeah. In, the, in his back. Perfect. We have the natural witness. So she let it happen. But 
It seems almost anticlimactic. You know, sometimes the truth doesn't have to be so bombastic. Thinking about it now, I know it seemed like a little anticlimactic, but it doesn't need to be. Maybe it's because I'm assuming it should be because anime is known to be pretty over the top. But that, you know, that's fine. This is fine. I'm fine with this. Although, granted, and yeah, and they explain why they didn't just go to the ghost in the first place. That makes it. That's good. Just like as I was saying, sometimes you want something more mystical. Oh, she's so... Oh, she's so great. That's cheating. Kotoko, that was cheating. <laughs> you know, I'm wondering they might be able to end this in the middle of the second of the next episode after this. I looked through all the universes and futures to see which one we win. Sorry, that's the first thing that came to mind.
Interesting. Did it say law? Oh, nice. Interesting. That's why he'll die for his her sake. That's an interesting. That's actually really interesting, though. So it makes him super powerful, but not like ridiculously overpowered. Who's her? Yeah, there's... Who the fuck is her? Well, shit, is he... Are they gonna kill him off? Nope. Your attacks are useless, old man. No, they're not. Oh, they, they actually killed him off. Holy shit, I didn't expect to kill them to kill him off. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're, th yeah, this is, holy shit, I did not expect them to kill him off. I thought he was going to play a more major role. I mean, sure, it's halfway through the series now, but, damn. But, okay, who was that girl? It looked like it was the girl in his past. Kudos, um, the one back, um, the one that's in the intro. But it was a little bit hard to tell, and the haircut was different. Granted, older now. Huh. Okay. I wonder how many more episodes we're looking at. For sure, I mean, for sure, next episode is going to be a full episode. Has to be. But we're going to get more after that. That's going to be almost, what, a six-episode arc in a 12, 13-episode show? That's impressive. But anyways, guys, what did you guys think about this episode? It was actually not that bad. Um... At the end, I was like, I was really paying attention to a lot of the dialogue and just trying to follow along. But yeah, this was a very interesting episode. I still think I like the last episode more. But 
we're starting to get we're starting to see the conclusion and we get to see a little bit more of how Kuro's power um works the whole uh, future thing it's a really interesting concept but yeah, anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching um i will be making a video later whenever it happens um whenever i get some time um to basically explain um my reaction process going forward so we'll see what happens um yeah hopefully i can get to a spot where i'm comfortable doing what i'm doing and uh <laughs> i'm laughing just at that statement alone but we'll see what happens um just hang tight things are gonna come but who just knows when and how but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below and i'll see you guys next time see ya